Having analyzed the results of our activity for the last year, the management of our company decided to conduct an advertising campaign. As part of our marketing strategy, we plan to produce our popular product, canned cream in a smaller volume plastic tube. Plastic tubes are a type of pharmaceutical packaging, which is used for metered packaging of creams and ointments. Once sealed, it is a reliable container for the storage and use of cosmetic and medicinal products. The main criteria of my search were automated dosage of cream, in which the plastic consistency is dispensed into individual containers. Equipment overall dimensions should not exceed 4M. The machine was planned to be placed in the assembly shop, where now there is a permanent stationary equipment, which operates at full capacity. If the ointment becomes popular with customers, we wanted to organize a separate area for the equipment and increase the number of tubes produced with our product. An important condition was to ensure a capacity of not less than 120 tubes per hour, with the possibility of increasing it later. For the ointment production we plan to use plastic tubes of 50 milliliters with diameter of 40 millimeters. As a technologist I understand that at all stages of production, it is important to comply with the requirements for medicines, the level of humidity, hardness and viscosity parameters of the cream. I approached the issue of choosing a machine for filling tubes with the utmost seriousness. I began the difficult task with the most popular method, a search on the internet. On the recommendation of my colleagues, the first thing I did was to look for European manufacturers. By myself I chose two companies, one in Italy and one in the Netherlands. After sending a request to their email, three days later I received a reply from the Italian company, which said that they could not deliver equipment due to the suspension of its production. The company from the Netherlands wrote in the email that they do not work with CIS countries. The first step did not turn out to be a good one for me. I understood that there are no hopeless situations, so I continued looking for a solution. I found similar equipment for filling tubes from three Chinese manufacturers. I contacted them by telephone. Managers of my chosen companies didn't answer me. Can their machine fill and seal tubes at 120 tubes hour? Are plastic tubes compatible with equipment elements? When can I get a ready-made machine? To all of these questions I heard the phrase, we'll do it. One company started talking to me in Chinese, and I ended the conversation. In the end I came to the conclusion that I would not be able to choose equipment for filling tubes on my own, and decided to turn to a specialist. I needed a professional who would give complete information about the machine, its capabilities, to test on the equipment tube with our cream, talk about the terms of delivery. It was initially decided not to use Chinese intermediaries, because often manufacturers from China have their own direct representatives. I did not want to go through this stage all over again, so I decided to turn to Russian intermediaries for help. I made the choice of a specialist, based on the following criteria, long period of work in the market of pharmaceutical equipment sales, positive customer feedback, the availability of information on the company's website, and convenient terms of delivery of the machine. According to these parameters, I selected four companies. Having sent all my requests via an email, I still have not received a response from two of them. One company from Samara warned me that they do not have their own adjuster, and that all the equipment installation work must be done by myself. This option did not suit me. Only one manager from Moscow was able to quickly give me competent and constructive answers to my questions. I also liked the business-like approach of this specialist. The manager of this company was polite, asked a lot of clarifying questions about the characteristics of the cream, the required capacity of the equipment, what types of dosage are necessary. After a preliminary telephone consultation, the specialist suggested an automatic machine for filling and sealing plastic tubes, the overall dimensions of which were 3, 5 cubic meters with the desired 4 cubic meters, with different types of dosage from 3 to 30 milliliters, from 6 to 60 milliliters and other options. I coordinated this option with the management of our company, and we signed a contract for the supply of an automatic machine for filling and sealing plastic tubes. I received an email report on the readiness of my order during the entire manufacturing period. The machine was delivered within the time specified in the contract. Our cream looked presentable in a new red and white tube. I was pleased with the plastic tube dispensing equipment supplied. Perhaps I would not have gotten such an excellent result in such a short time, if I had gone the route of selecting the equipment myself. Experience has shown that the decision to seek professional help was the right one. It is better to devote time to your classes and your main occupation than to try to solve an uncharacteristic task on your own, lest you completely fail the task.